check this out. So if you guys have been following a lot of my uh, Japan vlogs, um, a racing harness was one of the things I wanted to get from the Amori factory, but unfortunately it was sold out and I was like, I was, I was bummed out and I was so fortunate I got one with my good buddy, Mr. Marcos. Hello Japan, <laughs> anyone order please? <laughs> Take my money. Uh, man, that guy's a, he's a, he's a gem. But we're gonna go install it today and I'm super stoked. It's gonna look sick. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and just show you guys what's inside the box and what we get inside here. Of course, your instructions in Japanese. I'm just not gonna even open that. I'm just gonna keep that. Um, your lower lap belt with your eyelet. Your second lap belt with your, I, claim, I think it's called the clam. Uh, clamp, I think, or clamp buckle, and of course, it's valid till 2027. Another eyelet, your lockout um, uh, cotter pins, and you first shoulder belt. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Nismo, Sebelt. The webbing is this, oh. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. All right guys, so I intend on keeping the factory belt buckles, uh, cause driving with these racing harnesses uh, are not very comfortable. I kind of wanted my comfort when I drive my car. So I'm just gonna retain it. I'm gonna anchor the eyelets that are supplied to the factory belt location here and that'll give us the 45 for the lap belts. Going into this install you guys, I thought it was gonna be just a pretty much straightforward install where you take the eyelets that they supply you, bolt it right into the uh, factory location here and away we go. But uh, when I did that, this would not swivel anymore. And of course I'm kind of OCD. I want it to swivel just like how it is from the factory. Uh, so I realized when you torque the eyelet down, it just clamps everything down and it doesn't allow it to swivel. So kind of looked at the bolt and I figured out how we can get around that. I'm gonna show you guys right now. So once you take that out, you wanna take all the hardware here, the retaining clip, the, uh, the crush washer, uh, the collar and the bolt itself. Just take it all out and then uh, you'll need that. So this is the factory bolt and all the hardware. Uh, this is where the belt buckle goes and clamps onto and it allows it to swivel where when you put all this together, it clamps down on here only. And that's why the belt is allowed to, to swivel. And when you use the eyelet that they supply and use all the hardware, the factory stuff, it just bites down and no swivel. And on top of that, what I found, the bolt is way too small. So you have to go to Takata, which we have a fantastic dealer in town here, Peter said that you need a longer eyelet. And this is it, and it's identical. But that doesn't solve the problem of my swivel. What you gotta do is you gotta go to a hardware store and get yourself one of these. I'll take a picture and I'll send it right into the corner here. This is the size and the bore of the factory bolt, and you gotta cut it down. You gotta cut it down to this size here. And once you do that, Boom, now it's identical. Same length and you're gonna retain the factory swivel and all the hardware. So let's go put it in and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. I'm gonna set you guys down there and uh, you're gonna go in ahead and put the eyelid in. So you're gonna put this, so this basically goes inside there. I'm gonna put it on. This goes inside here and then your collar and then your crush washer and then the retaining clip the plastic so it goes like that you guys 
Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm going to thread it all on. Just like that. Voila. See? Now it's wibbles. Wibbles. And then you put it into your factory. And there you go. See? And it swivels. Isn't that nice, you guys? I just love it when it just everything goes in. Oh, just nice and perfect. <laughs> there you go. And it's nice and simple. The eyelet is like 10 bucks. 10 bucks can, uh, Canadian tax in. Yeah. Pretty nice. All right, so up next, you guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, unbolt the seat. Just gives me a little more room to work with the inner belt. Uh, I think that's gonna be the harder one. Once we go with that, it's everything smooth sailing. So for the ease of installation, you guys, uh, I'm just gonna, I took the whole seat out. Uh, I just figured it's gonna be a lot easier for me to access this, this bolt here, this nut here, and show you guys. The only one thing that I ran into a problem with the factory buckle because I'm going to retain my factory system here so that when I want to drive just comfortably I can still use it or if somebody borrows my car but uh, this is why why you need to swivel it does not swivel and uh, it's just so for ease and it's just so that you give this a little more room because it's pretty tight in here once I uh, unrecline the seat so unfortunately everything has to come back out and I gotta figure out how to get this to swivel. To allow this to swivel, what you'll need to do is take this, uh, go get one of these, which is like a collar. Uh, what I bought was half inch by five eighths. Uh, you don't have to really worry about the length. And then what it'll do is it'll fit inside here. The rating here. Really snug. And then it will allow you to put the eyelid in and this will swivel. So to get this job done, you guys, I had to pull out the big guns. So <laughs> Good old Victor's here to help me out again, you guys. So uh, what we did was we got some steel tube collar and we just cut it to a, like a sleeve and uh, hopefully it will work. I'll explain to you once we cut it and put it into the, on the seat belt. This is the actual most important part is you have to cut it to precise, precise size because you need it to bite down enough but have enough clearance for the, uh, for the seat almost, belt to swim. It's swallow. almost 5 eighths, eh? Right there. So we're gonna try 5 eighths because the first one we cut was a little too, sm just a little too small where it, it just wouldn't swivel. And the washer is 5 eighths. There you go, guys. So we're gonna try it right now. Five eighths by five eighths. It should work. I just want to kind of show you guys why it's outside of the vehicle, why I need this to swivel. So if you're not running the factory buckle, it's perfectly fine. It'll have a lot of room to play with and for adjustment. But for just ease of changing it out, if you want to, you would want this to swivel this way so you can uh, buckle in the factory seat belt. But unfortunately, this does not swivel. Um, if you clamp it down. So I want this to swivel, so just to ease uh, swapping out drivers. So what do we do? We, we put the spring in first. No, no, no. Put this in, put the spacer. Oh, then the spring. Then we do the, uh, yeah. Then this, no, then we do the other spacer. Spring, sorry. Spring, right. Spring. Spacer. Hot washer. Hot washer. Perfect. There we go. It's snug, but it still swivels. There you go. 
All right, so far I got everything back in, the seat's back in, and it's all bolted down. The lap belts are in. Uh, all right, guys, so since I have a harness bar, uh, we're not gonna use the eyelet um, bolt and the quick connector. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and take those off and we're just gonna use this retaining clip. Um, I know with harness bars, you do have the option of welding a uh, bolt into here. It could be an easier, uh, it just, I don't have that option here, so we're not gonna use that. So we're gonna wrap it around and then loop it like just like that. All right, so everything's all back in, you guys. I got the shoulder straps strapped up. Uh, I'm just gonna zip tie it later when I get a chance to. Let's roll it all up. Um, other than that, this is all done too, but I wanna emphasize on what I concentrated the most or what gave me the most headaches on this install. Other than that, it would have been pretty straightforward is uh, retaining this swivel here. So now whenever it, I wanna use this, I can just swivel it up. And then if you wanna put it away, just put it away. And then this is free moving. So I have the best of both worlds, you guys. Pretty sick. And they look fantastic. I just can't wait to uh, try them out um, when I get the car back on the street. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it's, it would have been a straightforward install, but you know me, I always take the, uh, the hard way and everything is just hard for me to do. But I like my comfort and practicality of the OEM system too. And why not have the best of both worlds, right? It is a love-hate relationship with this car, you know. Some days I just absolutely love it. Some days I just, oh man, it's just a nightmare and I hate the car. But it is what it is. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. Can't wait to get this on the road. See you guys then. See ya.